pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another edition of B Mail here on BAOS. But this is a very special episode, as my good friend Max would say. Yeah. Ooh. We took over the Hobson Bros set. As if you guys watch Hobson Bros, which I assume you do, you will recognize this, and I would like you two very attractive bearded gentlemen to introduce yourselves. So, Nathan, go ahead first, because... Well, now they know he's Nathan, don't they? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you're giving away your head. Damn, man. You blew us up. Oh, yeah. Anyways, yes. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I am Nathan from at R&D Beer on Instagram and Twitter. And, and I'm Chris from Ups and Bros. So, actually, the guy with the beard, Max, is out in Halifax because he needs some vacation. So, Max, have a great vacation. Shit. Yeah, vacation. He's probably um, drinking some good beer. He's going to bring back a lot of good beers, and we're probably going to share them with Fantastic. you guys and you guys. So no worries with that. Thanks, Max. That's a good yeah. Beer. Yes. So we're here for a very, very, very special yes. reason. Uh, genuinely excited and very proud of you guys for this. Um, you can see, do you know what? I kind of feel that we are, Nathan and yeah. I, are drinking the beer from the last beer. I'm, you I'm really done. thirsty. Yeah, so so let, let's get Chris yeah. some, uh, some beer here. Yeah. And while you're pouring yourself a beer, bro, let people know yeah. what you guys have done. So basically, this is this is a weird story. Not really <laughs> weird, but I've been having in my head that collab thing running for a while. Like, I'd like to do a beer and a collab with a brewery, actually. And, Thank you. Um, have you done one before or was it... Never. Uh, never. I did some Thank homebrew, you. but I suck at homebrewing, so... <laughs> so do I, do I. Exactly. So why not Take get in touch with the brewery to do it? And of course, you guys yeah, know it. See it. Uh, me and Max work for breweries. I work for Tuk Max work for Castle Brewery. So I, one morning, called in my bus. I just harvested some hops from my backyard. I'd like to see them in the yard cell that we're making. Why not making a collab with Ops and Bros? Cool. Perfect. We sit down, brainstorm on the name. It's like, why not we just call it Ops and Bros? It's it's perfect. It just represents the whole collaboration between brewers, uh, up growers, and also like farmers. So it's crazy, and also beer bloggers. And I think that's one thing me and Max wanted to put like up front. <clears throat> it's it's not just the Austin Bros beer, but it's like the Austin Bros everyone beer. I guess I don't know how to put it out, out there, I but it's like you represent um, the community of yeah. like uh, beer media or YouTube. I don't want to like. represent like full on. That's why I want like everyone to drink it because it's not mine fully. It's right. like. You, no, that's, we, what, that, that's yeah. kind of what the whole hops and bros thing is all about, right? Exactly. So we want to just represent the whole community at the same time and make that collaboration feel like it's like it's Craig's beer, it's Nathan beer, and you guys can have it at the same point. I know it's like not a super like special brew and agent barrel and all that stuff, but it's made with local hops. It's harvested. I was there, filmed the whole that's shot. Special, man. I dropped a few hops in there at the end of the boil. I had to work the whole day <laughs> after, so no worries. Uh, I didn't like cleaned up the tank, so all the props goes to Ryan uh, took the which was like a fantastic brewer. He did a fantastic job with this beer because it, we were playing with fresh hops and like harvested hops, so you don't know what you're gonna end up with. And it turned out with that nice like fall color, orangey color, yeah, a little beautiful. bit of yellow, a little but, opaque, great, yeah. great little bubbly head. Oh, and like the malt bag mode. It's been a, uh, okay. Sorry, <laughs> it's no, been it's like good. two days since I've drank it. Right? So, so yeah, yeah. So it's cha- not changing, but it's the experience is different. Slightly evolving. So um, I think we should get you, it in us first and foremost. Yeah, sorry to cut you off there, boys. Oh, that's cheers, right. cheers. Congrats, man. Mm. That's oh, a yeah, that's good. Sorry, what were you saying? Nick? Oh uh, well, what I was saying was, um, yeah, uh, Chris, you like you, you were saying like it's not like a bar- like, like a barrel aged or fruited thing, but like I really don't think it has to be. I think harvest right. ales are a really underrated style. Yeah, and it's <clears throat> a perfect style for fall. Um, you know, because because you end up getting the like some really earthy tones and um, yep, definitely. like and just kind of really catch the flavor of the hops. Like yeah. I really enjoy it every fall. So I, I was psyched when I, well, when I heard that this was the style you guys were doing for this. And one thing was art is playing with those hops. So yeah. in there you get some Magnum, you get Pearl, you get Glacier Hop, uh, Galena, a little bit of Centennial, you get Cascade and you get Nugget. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just so like, mostly noble and even a wild hop. So like, right. there's a farmer that just dumped us a bucket, and he's like, "I don't know what it is. Just, just put it in the beer." Stuff. So there you go. So um, and what's weird with like early harvest in Ontario is like we only get those hearty, citrusy, piney hops. So right. you won't get like those like big. You won't do like a galaxy harvest up because we don't get those hops here. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. not growing here. And it's, I think it's an issue. I, I, I want to use this, this little uh, <clears throat> window to put it out there. Like, yeah. why can't we get those hops? Stop making that stuff and charging brewers crazy prices about it. We all want to do beer with those cool hops. So, yeah, this is for all you guys. Up PSA brewers. for brewers. Yeah, PSA, but PSA, yeah. not I. 
PS8. I, I right? said I. It's yeah, yeah, I think it's, PSI is tire pressure. I, I know, but <laughs> wait, when you say PSI, <laughs> it sounds really. like an uh, Aussie thing. So you're yeah, like, like PSA and PSI are the same thing, but it's the I Aussie just, oh, thing. Oh, I talk funny. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Because you talk funny, so. And I talk funny too, so that's <laughs> why I'm like, funny. like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's great. Yeah, no one yeah, understands yeah, yeah. anything. You're the only person here that's making any sense, Nathan. <laughs> um, but no, this is really cool, man. Like, um, I think it's just a, such a cool thing. We're just saying, actually, if you watch the Hops and Bros video we did as well, the... I think what this is this beer is dope in and of itself, and it's yep. really cool that you guys got to do this collab. But I think it's the the cooler thing about this is what it represents in in the sense of like the three of us kind of represent we between us all we cover all facets of beer media, yep. and you know we support breweries. That's what we do. We with our money, like man, I couldn't even tell you. I should own shares in Bellwoods, like the amount of beer. <laughs> but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 and I'm I, sure you guys are probably could say the same about exactly, a lot of other yeah. breweries. So oh, we yeah. support the scene that we cover. You know, sometimes we we lucky and we, we get some stuff from breweries yeah. who send us stuff to do pics and videos and whatever, whatever. That's great. But like this is taken to that next step where, yeah. you know, it's actually like we've done two collabs so far and they were both great. They were keg only and you had to go to the brew pub to drink yeah. it and quite limited, which is fine. That's exciting. Mm-hmm. But this is that next step where you got your name on a bottle, logo. Like this is something that's going to be scary. up on the bar. It's hell scary because I had to put in an mm. untapped listing of this beer, right. which is untapped. The thing that scares me the most in the world. I <laughs> hate untapped. I hate that shit. <laughs> it's like the Reddit of the beer world, I guess. Right? Oh, it's People worse than Reddit. Shit. I'm worse pretty than... sure it's worse than Reddit. Damn, it's where the trolls live. Yeah, they they live on untapped, and it's it's bad. It's bad. But I won't go into that uh, little uh, debate yeah, on there like, because we already did a little video about it and people were like half and half and we had discussion with brewers and they were like, we love it because we get feedback every time, every single time on our beers. But for right. me, I don't have that connection with it. Yeah, because this is a one-off type of thing. So it's not like you're brewing constantly and you need that feedback. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, hey, of just course, if you so enjoyed it and you tag it on a tab, there you go, man. I'll give you a high five. I'm giving free high five for every um, free high five. So you did it unlimited. Yeah, I'll you get in it. on that. Yeah, you better. perfect. Yeah, so. there we go. Did you do it? Did you check in on Untapped? I, I haven't yet, but I'm going to after this. Oh, I did it immediately, Nathan. Uh, immediately. Yeah, yeah, you know that. Well, you're, you're sorry works to with, oh. with this, yeah. this, this. Now you're game. making me feel bad. That's yeah. all right. You're right. <laughs> you get to it. You get a free high five just for that. Just oh anyway. But well, you know what? You were preempting it. So no, where can people get this beer? Like, where is it just available at Tuk the Brew? So right now it's available at Tuk the Brew at the brewery and big bottles uh, in that. I'm work. I'm taking care of sales over there, so I'm currently working into a few to restaurants put- to get it. So there's a few places right now in Ottawa, but it's getting there. It's a little bit slower because November is kind of like the worst month to sell beer right. in general because a lot of restaurants are down. They're just looking at that changeover in season. Yeah, it's it's kind of, it's kind of the in between phase, which I'm. I'm really fine with it because I prefer everyone to get it in bottles so it can get pretty much everywhere. Did you do kegs as well? Yeah, there's plenty of kegs out there. Yeah. Plenty of kegs? Okay, what sort of bottle run? Can you speak to the numbers of it or is this like there's a uh, decent amount? I know that we already sold about like 14 cases of 12 and we're, we already, like there's a full pallet. So there's still plenty left and I'm pretty sure if you guys are roaming around Ottawa, like you'll get plenty of beers uh, until the end of November. Okay, so good. the beer will last until the end of November. So make sure this video comes out soon. So uh... exactly. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. Tomorrow. What? Yeah. So, so for oh, we did the so Friday one. For oh, any... I like that. Good idea. Oh. So yeah. So so for anyone doing like doing any kind of drive between Montreal and Ottawa, stop in Embrun and get yourself over to Tuke de Brew and yeah. uh, and pick this and one pick up. it up seriously. Yeah. And told them that Chris sent you. Make sure you say that Chris sent you the French guy with the beard. <laughs> the attractive guy, and further to what we were, t- yeah, yeah, the, Max the is sexy beard. too. I wasn't the, trying to the, say it, take the, away from his sexiness. The, the sexy version of Chris, which is Australian with a short beard. That's there what you, you meant, right? That's what I meant. Okay, cool. <laughs> that's cool. That's Perfect. I Assuming that you might see the review soon, coming out <laughs> Thursday. And yes. further to what you were saying about uh, like just how cool this is and what it represents, mad props to uh, Took the Brew and, and Nick for like for just being so willing to take this on like, yeah. like with, with with a moment's hesitation. I, I think that's great. I think he recognized an opportunity here. And it's a good way to just stand out as a brewery Absolutely. to yeah. like we're all putting like a bunch of hours in there and we're not there to like please breweries do something with us. We're just like like attention or to get that yeah, attention it's not back really about you as but, much as it's... Uh, we were big beer fans and we want to put your beer out there and we want to put ourselves out there at the same time and doing something like that like drives your passion away like yeah. really good I, I had trouble sleeping like two days after the, like before the beer lunches my girlfriend was like you're stressed out I'm like 
no, 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 I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And I was like scratching my skin off. I'm like, I hope people will show up. I hope people will show up. I hope. So, well, yeah, it's yeah. your baby, right? Like, and look, it's got this cool Hops and Bros logo on yeah, it. And, <laughs> yeah, real quick. Shout out to Vaxan Deshine. She did the logo for us. Uh, really amazing. So Max slick. friend. Yeah. Uh, and she did that for us. And we can't be more pleased with that. And the yeah. new branding is just right on point. Oh, it looks fantastic. We gained a lot of, lot of like good comments out of that. And that's Great. what we wanted to put out there. It's good, yeah. man. I love it. So your whole every This is actually really good timing. Because you just yeah. did the rebrand. And the way you're producing the videos is like yeah. stepped up. You got the three per week now. And like, you know. Yeah. This is like complimenting that. This is like the little cherry on top to be like, bang. I think it's really good what what, uh, what you guys are doing. So make sure you follow Toast. How can they find you? Break so, it down, boys. Uh, yeah. So me, you can find at R&D Beer on Instagram and Twitter. For sweet, fantastic pictures. Oh, thanks, man. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thanks. It's always a great inspiration. So you can find Ups and Bros basically pretty much everywhere from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, yeah, YouTube. That's YouTube? what we yep. do. So, yes, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so uh, YouTube, YouTube. Uh, every Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays, we have videos coming out. And also, you can reach us beer at upsandbros dot com. We have an email. You got an email? Yeah, we got Bam. an email. Yeah, beer at Bros. I love uh, it. Yeah, so it's simple. But uh, if you want to reach us out, have any comments or bad stuff, reach, no worries. I'll just yeah. delete. Them. I'll just delete that. Talk to Max. <laughs> talk to Max for bad stuff. Yeah, he's like, oh, no, about. don't do that. Poor him. <laughs> he's out there now. In fact, enjoying himself, and we're putting all that shit on him. That's perfect. Hey, and BOS oh, podcast. Hit. Yes, make sure if you enjoy the video, hit like down below. Hit subscribe, which, from my understanding, is over there. Yeah, right oh, over wait. there. Yeah, just and down. This down really down. helps us growing as YouTubers. It's really important. I think we don't talk enough yeah, we don't about, talk about it, this stuff, but much. Uh, just. This is the way to support uh, like a craft video maker. Yeah. Oh, Hit subscribe. Life. They're both making great content. <laughs> Do it. And go, go follow it. him. Follow everyone. Follow us on uh, social media. At we're just jerking podcast. each other off. I know, right? <laughs> hey, let's not circle jerks are fun. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. This is perfect. Get it in you, you know? You just get in you. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that's it, y'all. Get it in you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs>